and welcome back to my channel. Today it's gonna always be a video about the equipment for films. Specifically, I want to show you the differences between a Patterson tank and a Jobo tank. This is because the Patterson one is around 23-25 euros, while the Jobo tank can easily cost around 60 pounds. So is it worth buying a Jobo or better buying a Patterson? Let's have a look at the differences. So the first thing that immediately catch my eye is that the Jobo tank remains a little smaller and in my opinion this is fundamental when we are talking about the quantity of liquid preparation uh, that we need. I believe Jobo's tank is really useful in the color process because for the whole tank we only need 485 milliliters of solution. This means that we are talking about 500 milliliters which as the color kit is conceived as a multiple of 500 milliliters like 1 liter or 2.5 liters. This means that with 500 milliliter we are sure that we will be able to work with the whole kit without wasting any chemical. Instead, the Patterson tanks need 600 milliliters if we want to work with double 35 millimeters of format. And therefore, for those 100 milliliter more in the development, means that we are gonna waste our chemical stock from the kit. Del nostro concentrato di, di liquid di chimico che poi dobbiamo preparare con, uh, con l'acqua. Instead, if we work to with uh, the medium format, there are no problems because in that case, Patterson tank for the medium format always work with 500 milliliters. So, this is the first difference. If you work uh, in black and white instead, the preparation is not so strict like uh, in colors. And therefore, we can safely produce 600 milliliters without too many problems and without wasting any drops of our stock. So I repeat, this is the first difference. In my opinion, the second difference is rotation as movement during the process. Rotation movement are used mainly for color process. Patterson supplies the product with this pole, which is inserted here in the hole. It fits with the rod in the center of the tank, and we simply make it make a, a turning movement. Very simple. Instead, the Jobo is designed to work with their developing machines, which are the CPE or the CPA, and so on. And this means that there is a magnet inserted here on the bottom and then the machine, sorry, I don't have any of those machines here with me to show you. So the machine on the other side has a, another magnet which attracts the tank and with the motor inside it rotates the tank. So we don't have any rotation system in the Jobo, only the developer machine or the manual one. In my opinion, the last difference is in the spirals. A Patterson spiral works through these two metal balls that hook the film so whole and practically carry on the film itself. In the Jobo Spira this doesn't happen. We do not have any metal balls, so what we have to do is take the film sideways and send it forward, putting pressure on the fingers. This means that we must touch the film. 
Personally, I found working with gloves just a little difficult, but uh, remember that if you want to work without gloves, you just need to be careful to touch only the lateral part uh, where there are the little holes. I'll show you an example. Here's an example where you see, if we put our fingers here, where we have the indication about the film and the shooting number, even if we leave a fingerprint, it does not affect our photos because the most important area for us is in the center. So you have to be careful when you handle the film. When you have it here, or we take the film in this way, or decide like in this way, or if we really had to pinch the film with our fingers, we had to be careful to always take the side way. Going to the next step, let's see now how to draw the film inside the spiral. We have a black and white film and I'm going to insert it here. So, practically, I can touch the first part without two issues because it's burnt. I move forward the film so that I'm sure that it's hooked and then I hold one flap and keep rotating the other side. So, keep in mind when you work with the film, always hold it sideways in this way. I'm touching it from below, there is no emotion here. I'm sorry, this should not have happened, but this is a studio film and therefore it's already all dented and this means it skips a hole because it's already damaged. Also, at the end of this film, there should have been a real as a way. Normally they don't play these funny games. See here, these cuts generally are not there. It's only because this one has been used, reused and destroyed over time. So this is the first case. In the other case instead, I'm going to take another film with the tongue in front and I just pull it forward. But as you can see, since it has no hooks, I turn it and the film comes back. I push forward, turn and it comes comes back. It can make a friction. So personally I don't know if there are other methods. When I'm working with Jobo I take the film with a finger then I press it lightly and carry on the film. It's a process that, in my opinion, job requires a little more attention and experience, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be your first tank. So, moving forward, as the last things, 
and a tank job uh, and uh, I want to mention in this in these rings that uh, I used to stop the, the spira if we don't need to use both of them so I can stop the spira in the right position either by inserting the second spira or by using this ring that is provided by the mother house in this way I insert the ring and I start the process this ring does not exist in parts on a tank so what I do is to stop the first spira with the second one even if it's empty even if I don't insert anything inside it uh, this is because when we do our agitation we risk that our spira slowly descend the road and therefore if we had to put our quantity of liquid necessary for the first film only such as a 300 milliliter solution if the spira descend uh, in theory it's going up in this direction and we risk that the upper part is nowhere immersed in the liquid Therefore, I always insert the second spear in the tank of Patterson or in the job we have our safety ring. I believe these are the main differences between the two tanks. I hope that somehow the video has been useful for you. Please leave me a comment, let me know your opinion, let me know which one do you prefer, if you prefer to work with the Patterson or with the job. Uh, I forgot, speaking of leaking of fluids, there are no problems at all, both of them are fine. So, we see you in the next video, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye bye!